Hey guys, welcome back to December Daily Day 8. So I cannot believe, first of all, how this month is flying by. It is already the 13th and I'm, yeah, working on the 8th. So doing my best to catch up. That was why you saw um, the kind of flip through of my earlier pages because I just really am kind of anxious to get this caught up because I do not want to carry this project into the new year. I have a lot of Disney that needs to be done, a lot of catching up on my project life that needs to be done. So I really am trying to get this project done by the end of December. So my December 8 is going to be um, probably a two page spread. Um, this is the day that we got our Christmas tree. So I've got this photo here. This is going to be it's a three by four and I think I'm just going to put it on this page. I'm going to do some embellishing, um, maybe a little bit of journaling, but this is the place where we always go to get our Christmas tree when we buy a real one. So I don't always get a real one, but probably 95% of the time we do. I am a fan of, they're called Charlie Brown Christmas trees. They're very, um, they're not as full as regular Christmas trees. And I love that because you can hang ornaments in and out of the tree branches. I just really love the vintage look of the Charlie Brown tree. So this is the place that we always go. It's called Blue Ribbon Farm and they're the only place I have ever gone that has Charlie Brown trees. So they're our go-to every year. So this is a sign I just took from the road um, with the Blue Ribbon Farm and I thought that would be kind of a good intro to this um, particular layout. Then I've also got two other three by fours and I put everything black and white because again, I just love the vintage feel of these photos and I just like the black and white composition. So I did decide to print these in black and white, but this is an old worn, weather worn bench here with um, a row of Christmas trees next to it. And I thought that was really pretty. And then I've got this one, which is like a wagon wheel with a wreath and a fence behind it. So those are a couple photos that I took from the actual farm that we were at to get our Christmas tree. And then um, after we decorated our tree and it was all set up and completely finished, I took a photo of it and I printed it the full um, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So this will be a page all to itself. So once I get these two pages completed, this one will just fit into my album. So that's kind of my plan. Um, I've pulled out a bunch of embellishments that I think will go along with my Christmas tree theme for these two pages. So yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna start on this page and I think I'll probably put you guys on fast forward. It just makes the video go much faster because I spend a lot of time not knowing what the heck I'm doing. So, all right, let's see what happens. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pulled out some pieces that I think I'm gonna use on this layout. The base for this layout, um, that actual traveler's notebook sheet of paper right there, is from the Coco Daisy Nordic Woods collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my base. And so I think I'm gonna use a lot of greens on this layout and just kind of stick with a the green theme. So I pulled out a couple of the Ellie Studios papers, that uh, green background that I mounted that photo on, and then the multicolored tree paper um, are both from Ellie Studio. So now I'm just kind of playing with the um, products that I pulled out, just kind of auditioning them to see what I want to um, eventually end up on this layout. So um, that green acetate tree comes from Ellie Studio as well. So that will end up staying here because I just love Ellie Studio's acetate. So I'm going through the acetate trying to see if there's more um, papers that I are more die cuts that I want to use. So I am thinking that I kind of want to use that red heart and I play around with it in quite a few different places. And I just am not thrilled with how that ends up turning out. So that red heart does not stay on this layout. It gets replaced actually by a green one. So, um, but again, I'm playing with it, trying to make it work and I'm just not having very much luck. I do also like that um, wood veneer tree. It does not end up staying on there because again, I can't figure out how I want, how I want it to work on there. So since I know I'm gonna go ahead and use that Nordic Woods paper, I just went ahead and inked up my edges as I always do. And I know that I'm going to use that tag kind of as a journaling spot. 
and I want it to be able to pull out from underneath that paper. So when I put my adhesive down, I made little marks so that I was sure not to put um, adhesive where I wanted the tag to go. So that's just kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm going to end up um, cutting down that Christmas tree paper. I only end up using one little teeny tiny strip of it. And at the very end, you can barely even tell it's there, which is kind of a bummer because I really do love that paper. So I need to make sure that I use that um, somewhere else because I really do like the look of that paper. But you can see it, it's going to end up there. But by the time I do my layering pieces and that kind of stuff, hardly any of it shows at all. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly how long I want that strip to be. I'll ink it up and then I'll pop it behind that photo. And it's going to serve as kind of a base for that little green tag right there. So that tag, um, again, comes from Ellie Studio. Um, trying to play around with it, figure out exactly how I want it to work. There's that red heart again, and it just, I just can't make it work with that tree. I'm not really great at figuring out how to layer those um, acetate pieces. I wish I were better at it. I think I just need to play around with it a little bit more, but I've seen layouts where people have layered those acetate pieces, and they're so cute, and I just, I can't make them work. But so there's the tag that I'm going to go ahead and use for my journaling. So I pulled out my um, green and white twine that came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then that's going to serve as the base for my little bit of journaling on this page. So if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you may have noticed I am not big on journaling. My layouts don't have journaling on them very much at all. Part of it is, is because I don't love my writing and I don't want that to show on the front of my layout. If I can hide journaling, I will do journaling a little bit more. Or if I can, um, you know, print it out from my computer or type it, I will put journaling on there. But normally if it, if it has, comes down to me um, handwriting it, I will hide it, which is kind of what my thinking is on this layout or on this tag for um, the journaling on this. I did want to put something about how, um, you know, this is our tradition. We always go to Blue Ribbon Farm to get our tree. We always get the Christmas or the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, that kind of stuff. So that's basically what my journaling is going to end up saying. But because it's on the tag, I can tuck it behind the photo and, you know, make that journaling work for me. So what you saw me do, so I played around with this, um, stamp set and that comes from the Coco Daisy Nordic Woods and I really wanted to use the circle with the tree I really love that but um, I couldn't make the circle work on that little bitty tag so I stamped down there didn't like the way it looked pulled it off cut it in half and then ended up um, just using just the little tree which is fine the tree is cute I used my green distress ink and it actually turned out really cute so I went ahead and pulled out this green heart and that's going to work much better for me than the red heart. I think that the red was just too red where there's, there's no other red on this layout. So um, I do like the green much better. So I went ahead and trimmed down um, a tiny word sticker there and I just kept the wonderful and that works well on this layout. I did this time remember to attach my um, acetate pieces with a, uh, tiny attacher rather than my adhesive because that never seems to work for me. So um, here's where I decided to do some journaling. So I'm just going to draw some lines and I'm just going to write on my tag um, about how we always go to Blue Ribbon Farm for our tree. Um, it's the only place in town where we can find a Charlie Brown tree, yada, yada, yada. So um, I'll go ahead and finish that up. And then that tag is going to get tucked right underneath um, that photo. So I'm really liking the way this is coming together. I, I don't think that I do too much more on this layout. Um, I do decide that this is where I want to include my number and I do go back and add the eight to that. So then the next page that I'm going to work on is the, the other two black and white photos that I took. And this is going to end up being a very, very simple layout. Um, because there's two three by fours, they take up a lot of room on a traveler's notebook size paper. So um, I'm just going to actually end up putting these two photos on the left hand side. I layered them up with a strip. These actually both those papers came from the Echo Park collection that I used for um, another, my, I think it was my day three layout. So I had some scraps left over and I just went ahead and used those. 
So I'm trying to figure out right now how I want these photos to lay and whether I want them to be, I want the two pages to be side by side or if I want them to be back to front. So I do decide that they're going to be back to front, front to back, however you want to look at it. Um, that Christmas tree does stay. That was an old one I've had in my stash for a while. I don't even, couldn't even tell you where that came from. But then I went to my Ellie Studio puffy stickers and there's a um, tradition on there. And I thought that that would be a pretty addition to this page because this is our tradition. Um, we go here pretty much every year. There's been a few years where I don't want to hassle with a new, or I'm sorry, with a real tree. And we just end up using our artificial one. But for the most part, we pretty much end up going and getting this um, Charlie Brown tree. So I just put the tradition across there. Um, need to put my little dots back on there. And then that actually completes this page. So that one was really super easy. I'll end up um, adhering it to the back of that one. And that will be that. I do decide that on this page, I want to put a tab. I, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos. I love using tabs on my traveler's notebook. So this one kind of came at the perfect time. So I went ahead and just punched an extra um, piece of that green paper and then an extra piece of this green paper. And I ended up backing those tabs um, to each other. And then there, um, I think I pulled out, I think maybe I used both the, um, LA Studio little tiny word stickers and then ended up using those on my tabs. The punch is from, I believe it's, you know what? Actually, let me pull it. Hang on one sec. I've got it right here. It is, we are memory keepers and it's their tab punch. And I love using that thing. I use that over and over and over. So um, I just took that fa la 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 and I am adding that to that tab and then I'm going to turn it over and I've got, it, it ends up saying love this, but I think I may have trimmed it down. I did. So there's a couple stickers on there that I will probably never use. So I just trimmed out the love this and then I'm going to add one of the um, puffy hearts, um, I think in gray onto this and then that layout will be done as well. Okay, so then you'll see me turn my attention to the full-size photo of our Christmas tree. I am a sucker for anything vintage Christmas. So, um, again, one of the reasons that we always love to do a Charlie Brown tree. I love tinsel on my tree. I love vintage Christmas ornaments. Um, and I really like to take my... Um, like my big Christmas photo of our tree in black and white because it just adds to that vintage feel. So I just kind of played around with this, um, took it with my phone and then um, just changed it black and white. But I love how it turned out. I think it just kind of adds to the vintage look of the, the tree. So what I decided to do was just kind of create a little overlay for the top of this photo. And I kind of wanted to make a flip um, you know, something that kind of covered the photo, but that you could just flip open to take a look at the photo, which is what I am working on right now. So I pulled these two pieces of paper and these are from the um, Snow and Cocoa 6x6 six six paper pad that I picked up at Tuesday morning this year. So I'm just kind of playing around with these, trying to figure out how I want them to overlap each other. Because what I'm going to end up doing is creating these two flaps and then coming up with a little embellishment cluster that kind of looks like it's kind of keeping this layout closed but it's not really keeping it closed but you'll see in just a minute how it comes together but I'm just kind of scoring right now because I want my um I want to create a flap that I can fold over my photo so that's what I'm doing right now I just take in my um, score tool and I've just again I don't measure anything so I just kind of created um little flaps on there so that I could glue those on either end of the photos so that is what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go ahead and glue them down. And I really do like the way that this came together. Um, I had to play with it a little bit because I didn't take into account the fact that I was going to have to put this on rings. So I had to cut a couple little slits in it. But um, I do like the way it, it came together. So right now I'm just going through my 3x4 cards and trying to figure out something that I can use to kind of tie those two pieces of paper together. So these again are from the Ellie Studio and I do end up using that pink and white. And I'm going to trim it down just a little bit because it was a little too large for what I needed. And again I'm going to ink my edges everywhere. So you can kind of see how this is going to end up looking in a minute. 
I'll just ink up the pink on this. And I didn't realize at this point that I was also going to have to um, embellish the inside because when those flaps open, it was just a, a plain white background. So um, I, I think at this point I was kind of thinking I was bummed because I had a couple other pieces that I really wanted to use um, that I wasn't going to get to use, but then I realized I ha also had the inside of my flaps. So it actually ended up working out well. So I am finally able to use that red acetate heart right here. So um, you'll see me use that in just a second. But right now I'm just kind of coming up with an embellishment cluster. That little tag says Deck the Halls, and that is from Ellie Studios. That's how that's going to look. So then I'm going to take this tree, and I think that probably comes from Ellie Studios as well. I had a lot of um, embellishments that I purchased with her kits. So love them, love them. I did put some adhesive on the back, but I am able to cover it. So that um, actually works out well. So I'm thinking that that little tree is going to stay and then it's just too much. Um, it's, you know, it's Christmas tree on top of Christmas tree and I just didn't love that. So I took that off and then I'm going to actually go to um, the word stickers and boom, right there in front is something that says the perfect tree. So I layer that on there and then that just gets stuck down on the top of that flap. So that's how that opens up. So I had also pulled out a couple other um, little cards from the three by four cards that I thought would be perfect for this. And one of them right there is that Christmas tree details. And I was thinking I wasn't gonna get to use it, but then I realized um, that I had room on the inside flap. And so it just asks for details like, you know, where, where you bought the tree from, um, was it real or artificial, the date that you put it up, who decorated it, and what your favorite ornaments are on there. So I just went ahead and did that little bit of journaling. And I'm going to actually get to use more of that Christmas tree paper. So I'm using that to, to cover up the, just the plain white on this, um, just so I can... Um, kind of decorate that up just a little bit more. So that's going to go on there and then I'm just going to mount that Christmas tree details um, and I'm going to mount it I think on a piece of green paper. I think I pull out just some regular green paper from the Ellie Studio kit and then um, it's going to get backed on that and then put on that um, that flap there. And then I also wanted to make sure to use that deck the halls and so that's going to go on the bottom flap. So again, I really like the way this came together. I did have to do a little bit of adjusting when I put the rings on my binder, and I'll show you guys that. I'll do a flip through of kind of where I'm at right now with my um, December daily, because obviously I haven't done process videos for everything I've done. So I'll show you what I ended up having to do, but I did have to end up cutting a couple slits in it just so that it opened correctly. The one thing I did not take in account when I did the top part of this was that it was going to have to fold over and I didn't um, adjust the cutting of that Christmas tree paper enough to accommodate the fold. So you'll see me, I try and use my bone folder to fix it and that doesn't fix it. So um, off camera, I do go ahead and trim it down a little bit just so that top flap folds in perfectly. So I'm just going to take that green gingham paper and I'm going to put that on the background and mount that uh, Deck the Halls card. I'm going to add that final puffy Christmas tree and then this is going to complete my Christmas tree day, what did I say this was, day eight? Day eight. That's going to complete my December daily day eight layouts. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions, like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you guys later for a flip through of where I'm at right now. So stay tuned for that. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.